Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going over some new features dropping into Mad 23 based on the franchise or franchise. In today's video, we'll be going over two features. So let me know down below if you guys think this is a W or an L versus last couple years in Madden, especially in Madden 22. That game was so bad in franchise. Got like zero updates. Everything they added new to the game failed. So hopefully today's video, these new features are actually really good. We're gonna be going over two things. I'll be making a separate video for the other ones just because I can give it its own time and all the information within the video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over player motivation and tags and why they're important in franchise, especially if you guys are playing online where you guys can win some money. Enough being said, if you guys wanna stay updated, make sure you guys follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Let me know down below. Do you guys play Mutt or franchise or both? Let me know and let's jump into it. So jumping into Madden 23 free agency, there's a lot of new features that we added into the game and hopefully they stay into the game right here on the screen. One of the biggest difference from last year in free agent versus this year in Madden 23 is the contract offering. There's no need now to give a player a max contract just to give him or to get him to sign to your team this year. There'll be some new features added to the game that will convince them otherwise. The very first feature that's added into the game in Madden 23 is player motivation. It's basically something new in the game that I think is actually pretty cool. It gives players a realistic reason why they want to go play for a team. We know this offseason, Jairus Landry went to go play for the New Orleans Saints just because it's close to his college team, which was the LSU. Not to mention other examples of why a player would want to go to a team is, hey, if a veteran called you up asking you if you want to go win a Super Bowl like Tom Brady, for sure you're going to be going to that team trying to win it that season. So with these two examples right here already, I feel like it's more realistic and it's new and hopefully they keep it in the game. And jumping to other features or example for player motivations. Now, my personal opinion, I feel like the more, you know, different type of motivations we have is the more unique the player is going to be. And I feel like in this case and for this mode, especially in Madden, they need a lot of upgraded features. And I feel like this one's a big W. If, if you want to win a Super Bowl, why not go to a Super Bowl winning team like the Bills, like Von Miller did? If I was him, I would have stayed on the Rams. Let me know down below. Would you guys have left the Rams or stayed with the Rams? Let me know. Or just for another example, Odin Beckham Jr. He's in a big market in Tampa Bay. And it impacts if he's going to go there, yes or no. Another thing is where he will be in the depth chart. At least top three, it looks like right now, he favors that with the green. And the historic championship will be with the Buccaneers. I don't know. I feel like these different type of motivators is really cool. Jumping to other examples, one is no income stay tax. So the player is trying to save some more money and more bread to keep in his bank account. That's definitely one thing he wants to consider, especially me. If I'm making my own play and I'm going to a place and I want a max contract, I want as much money in my pockets as possible. And for sure, we already know you guys have to fit the scheme of the GM, of the coach, of the organization. Another one is, do you like the weather? I feel like this is a really good one. Me personally, I would not want to play in Chicago or a cold state in the north just because it gets cold. Send me to Florida, send me to California or Texas where it's a lot better, especially in the fall time. But with that being said, I feel like all these motivators are really cool. Hopefully they keep adding it throughout the year. And so we have numerous and different type of combinations or different types of motivators for all types of players. At the end of the day, I feel like this is a big W. For sure makes it more realistic. And jumping to the second most important new feature that will be dropping into the game mode, it is player tag impacts, but player tag overall. The most important things that it will do will better free agent logic, trade, draft, and player progression, depending on which one you guys have and depending if your player even has it. There's so many different type of player tags. I'll be leaving a link down below to the notes. Make sure you guys go over it if you guys plan on playing this mode. You have different examples of what I can tell you guys right here, right now. The very first one is right here on the screen for Aaron Rodgers. He does have a tag award winner. And it says in the notes, players who have won yearly awards will draw in more interest during free agency, creating heated competition to land the biggest available names. Just an example if you guys want to use a current NFL player or make yourself, you guys would definitely would want this, especially if you guys want to get paid with a big contract. Our second example is right here on the screen. Day one starter, Jamar Chase. Had one of the craziest rookie years, in my personal example, for a wide receiver. In the very beginning of the year, he was dropping almost all the passes. And then in the second part, 
He went all the way to the Super Bowl. But going back into what he has in the game for Madden 23 for the tag, day one starter. Says right here in the notes, elite players ready to make a difference on the field. The moment they are drafted, they will be given starter priority and will secure their position, causing the team to look elsewhere, elsewhere in the future drafts. So at the end of the day, I'm not sure if these tags are beneficial to the player or to the position or to the overall team. I know it depends from what I'm reading from the notes, but so far, this would be perfect if you guys are getting a wide receiver. And our third example in this video, it is Bobby Wagner. I feel like this is a perfect example of a tag just because it will benefit the player himself, like a veteran player in Bobby and other players in the lineup, especially on defense. Now, if you guys are playing online, I highly suggest that you guys take notes on what you guys are seeing and definitely take a look at the notes down below for the grid iron. But it states that mentor the tag, the veteran leadership cannot be understated. Weekly training XP boost will be given to all players that share the same position with a mentor. An example is Bobby Wagner with the Los Angeles Rams. So make sure you guys find a veteran, especially on offense and defense, and give them the boost. So on wide receivers, make sure you guys get one on offense. And for defense, get one for sure for all defensive backs. So far, so far, so good, right? I like the motivation just because it gives us another trait or other ways that players are different within the game, right? Yes, it is a game, but at the end of the day, a reason why a player should sign with you should be more besides the money. So in my personal opinion, that's a big W. Hopefully they keep updating that throughout the year and keep adding stuff and remove stuff that's not worth it. Overall, update it throughout the year. The second thing I gotta talk about is the tags. I feel like the tags are all right. I'm more excited and more happy about the motivators. I feel like I see more value in the motivators right now. But like I said, I'll be leaving a link down below on all the list of motivators and the tags. But by far, I'm happy about the motivators. Tags, I feel like could get better, especially they give you, you know, better boost. I know some tags give you a boost, some don't. So the ones like Bobby Wagner, the mentor, I feel like that's one that everybody should have, especially if you guys are playing online just because it gives your defense or the position-based player a boost in XP. At the end of the day, you guys want to have better players on your squad versus your opponent. So overall, can't complain. But with that being said, don't drop it into the game and keep it like that. Update it throughout the year. So throughout the year, it gets better and better. Let me know your thoughts down below. I know this was probably a longer video, but let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys a fan, yes or no? And don't forget, if you guys want to stay updated, make sure you guys follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love, especially if you guys want to see more news like this. Because majority of the time, I do break down mutt videos. So if you guys want to see different videos, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.